another broadcast with Gian. Watching this program, you are going to be inspired, challenged, and enlightened. Now, let me introduce to you our host, Gian. Don't you love your pet? I do love my pets and they bring so much joy into our lives, isn't it? Some people have different kind of pets from reptiles to birds, all kind of dogs, cats, and on and on and on. It's a list that will, I don't think it is going to end because people just love animals. Not everybody, of course, but what is the the thing that we all get from our pets, so much joy. It, it really entertains you to have a pet, you know, brings you smiles and they make you laugh. And it, it is a real special feeling. It's not for everybody. I get that. But if you are a pet lover, we are in the same thing, my friend. And it's wonderful, except one thing. Mm hmm bathroom and stuff no 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 that is one thing that i never never liked about pets dealing with the bathroom and stuff so in my home my wife tracy and i we we train our dogs we have two dogs we train them to go to a particular place in the backyard where there is a bathroom area for for our dogs and, and they pretty much respect that you know there are accidents sometimes but if there is something that you don't want, is bathroom stuff everywhere in your house. If you take your, your pets in your car, uh -uh, imagine that in the vehicle. Mm -mm, it's a no-no. <laughs> now, what about those individuals that they love the idea of having a pet, but they don't want to take the time to feed them? You know what is interesting? Some of our pets, they are like us somehow. Some of us like to eat by ourselves. Others prefer to eat with people. Same thing happens with our pets. You know, one of my pets, one of my dogs, the little one, it is like that. She likes uh, to, to have me around or Tracy around because it, I don't know what is the deal, but she likes that. The other dog, the, the big one, the, the lab, the black lab, he doesn't need anybody. In fact, it seems to me that he prefers to eat by himself. But the important thing is to feed them appropriately. You don't want to have a pet that is overweight. You don't want that. Why? It's because it's going to bring health problems to the animal down the line. But it's important as well to make sure that your pet is evaluated periodically by your vet. Those guys are specialized in that. And even if you don't have the budget, you will find ways to go to places where they help animals because people care, you know? It's important that they have all the medicine that they need and vaccines and all that because the last thing that you want is an, uh, an animal that is carrying some diseases. And what do you do if uh, a pet is sick and is giving you trouble? Imagine your hygiene. What do you think is going to happen to you if the animal is not clean and is sick and you are around? You are going to end up sick, my friend. So hygiene with your pets is, is essential. You know? How do you train your animal? It's a great question. There are individuals that are prepare for such a thing, thing and the trainers, uh, you hire them or you watch videos to learn about it. But the key is to understand that you are the master. It's not the other way around. And sometimes we go to see friends and family where is uh, the animal who rules the house. And uh, it's kind of sad, you know, it is kind of sad. 
because one thing is to love our pets and give them attention and feed them properly and play with them and all that. Another thing is that the animal is the king of the house or the queen of the house. And why that is important to mention it? Because you have to remember that there are other relationships in life. Even if you are a pet lover, you still have family, some friends, somebody that would like to interact with you. And when they are around you and you have your pet, just try to keep a balance, you know, because it is, it is not nice, honestly. When you are visiting somebody and you cannot even have a conversation because the host or hostess is so focused in taking care of the pet that you are thinking, what am I doing here? I came to see you and all that you want is to talk to your pet and talk about your pet and your eyes are on the pet and you are so concerned about the pet. You are wondering, do they really care that I am here? And the worst part is some people say, no, I don't. I just care for my pet. You know, there are, there are signs, some places where they say, the more that I know people, I like my dog uh, the best, something like that. I understand people sometimes can be difficult, but not everybody, my friend, not everybody. Example yourself, you see? And there are other individuals like you that are nice and kind. Remember, there are other relationships. On the other hand, remember that there are people that they don't like pets. They don't like animals. And we have to respect that. When we are visiting, whether it's you are in the house of someone that doesn't like pets or vice versa, respect that. Take that into consideration. Because we need to learn to respect everybody. Those who like pets and those who do not like pets. One day somebody was asking me, do you know if animals are going to be in heaven? What a question, right? Well, to begin with, you know, unless you are those, one of those who say that you went to heaven and you came back, the rest of us are on this side of eternity. We have no clear understanding of what's there. However, for those who believe in the Bible, I'm going to share with you this passage in Genesis chapter 9, verse 5, that clearly it says that God is going to judge not just men, but animals for doing cruel things. In fact, in the Bible, there are several uh, places where there are scriptures talking about the lamb and the lion cohabitating in heaven. You, you know what, my friend? God is fair. God is always going to be fair to everybody. If you are wondering about if there are going to be animals in heaven, you have to come to a conclusion. Now, my view about it is that more likely we will see some animals in heaven. And I like that idea because I do love my pets. Thank you for watching another broadcast with Gian. The schedule of this program, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Saturday at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. Check the website mygiancarlo.com for more videos. We hope to see you soon.